Dear students, here in this lecture, we are going to explain about the Pauli exclusion principles. Uh, as we know that there are the different rules which tells us uh, about that how the electrons are filled in the shell, in the subshells, and in the orbitals. And so, like the we have the off bow principles, we have Pauli exclusion principle, and then we have the Hund's rules, and so one of them is the Pauli exclusion principle. Here we will discuss this rule. So, what is the Pauli exclusion principle? The Pauli exclusion principle states that it states that the two are more identical particle. Two are more identical particle. with half integral spin with half integral spin okay and here the important thing is that with the half integral spin and the particle with the half integral spin are called as fermions so the two are more identical particle with half integral spin like fermion can not cannot simultaneously simultaneously occupy the same state occupy the same quantum state okay here this quantum states means that the states which obey the laws of quantum mechanics so whenever we have the two identical particles here we have given an example of uh, the fermions which have half integral spins and in fermions we know that we have the electrons and you know that for example this one is the one electron and this one is another electron so our electrons are the same so we call them and the uh, identical particles so these are the identical particles because we cannot differentiate between electrons and thus all electrons are similar and these are the half integral spin here means that they have a spin half it can be either plus half or it can be either minus half. So the two are more identical particles with the half integral spin. Cannot simultaneously exist or occupy the same quantum states. And that it is impossible for the two electron uh, with the same uh, with the same spin to occupy the same state. So this is the Pauli exclusion principle. So this principle was first formulated by an Austrian physicist whose name was uh, Wolfgang Pauli. His name was Wolfgang Pauli. And he presented his laws, he stated these laws in 1925. Uh, for He actually formulated this law for electron the first he was he formulated this only for the electron that is for the fermions and later on and this loss was extended to all the fermions and now in the case of poly electron system mm -hmm. or multi electron system it is impossible it is impossible for any two electron to have the same uh, to, to same value of nl mlrs and here actually we can explain it as we know that the electron are specified by the quantum number electrons can be specified by quantum numbers and quantum numbers uh, actually the electrons are specified by the wave functions psi and psi specifically 
uh, psi n l m l and like m s so these are the quantum number which actually specify the electron within the atom that is it actually tells us in which orbit or in which orbital which one electron lies within an atom is actually tells us about the exit address of electron within the atom so here what is the n and you know that it is the principal quantum number and is the principal quantum number and it actually represents the energy of electron so here and then we have the l here l tells us and uh, about uh, it tells us about the orbital angular momentum magnitude it is about the orbital angular momentum magnitude of electron and it is also called as the orbital quantum number orbital quantum number and then we have ml and ml it is called as orbital magnetic quantum number it is orbital magnetic quantum number okay and then we have ms and ms denote the magnetic spin quantum number magnetic spin quantum number so these are the four quantum number we specify the electron within atom for the two electron the value of uh, you can say that the value of n l and ml can be the same but ms is the different to occupy the same state if two electron are occupying the same orbital they can have the same value of n principal quantum number l orbital quantum number and ml that is the orbital magnetic quantum number which tells us about the magnitude of angular momentum and then but it there must be the different value of ms that is the magnetic spin quantum number so if the two electron occupy the same orbital then one will be the spin up state then other must have spin down state so otherwise it cannot occupy the same orbital it will it is because it is against the poly exclusion principle okay now we comes to the bosons what about the boson can we apply the poly exclusion principle on boson and now first for what are the bosons bosons are the identical particle with integral spin with integral spin so these are the integral spin so they are not subjected to the poly exclusion principle they cannot do not obey the poly exclusion principle they are not subject to, uh, they are not subject to the poly exclusion principle okay poly exclusion principle it is not ne necessary for the boson to obey the poly exclusion principle so we can say that any number of identical boson can occupy the same quantum state such as uh, we have an example of the photon photon which have all all the photons are the same they are identical photon so we can say that Uh, the photon light uh, produced by the laser photon produced by laser uh, as uh, the uh, as we know that this is an example of um, uh, the bosons so all are in the same states all photon which produced by the laser are in the same state as we know that in the case of laser 
uh, we have the metastable states and um, in which uh, has the we have uh, the population inversion and we have the metastable states and all of the and there are the transition from metastable state to the ground states and and suddenly they produce the photons and all photon will be the, of the same energy and all photon will be the uh, will be in the same state so uh, these are the bosons so we can say that any number of identical particle or any number of bosons can occupy the same quantum states they are now subjected to the Pauli exclusion principle so another statement uh, is uh, that uh, we can to understand the Pauli exclusion principle is under the exchange of two identical particles that is uh, exchange of identical particle we can understand the Pauli exclusion principle in term of exchange of identical particles so how we can understand the Pauli exclusion principle in term of exchange of identical particles as we know that the total wave function total wave function uh, of uh, the two identical particle or any number of the particle uh, will be the symmetric it will be the symmetric when um, for the fermions it is symmetric for the fermions and it will be the psi will be the anti-symmetric anti-symmetric for bosons that is we know that if we have the wave function for the two particles one and two so the wave function you know that it is uh, the uh, it, 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 uh, total wave function has both the spatial and the spin coordinate that is total spin function is the function of um, spatial coordinate and spin coordinate so the total wave function it will changes the sign um, when we exchange the particle that is psi of 1 2 will be equals to minus psi of to one for the fermions so such a function is called as anti-symmetric wave function anti-symmetric wave functions and for the for the bosons uh, psi of one two is equals to psi of two one so uh, under the exchange of coordinates uh, or spin, either it can be the spin coordinate or space, spatial coordinates, space coordinates. So it does not affect the total wave function of particle. So such a wave function is called as a symmetric. So the total wave function is the symmetric for the spin uh, for, the, for uh, bosons and anti-symmetric for the fermions. So it means that the state uh, and the spin coordinates that is the space coordinate and the spin coordinate of two identical particle that is of two identical particle interchanges the total wave function uh, upon interchange uh, 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 for the fermions and remains the same for bosons so this is an uh, another a picture of the poly exclusion principles thanks for watching for more videos please subscribe to my channel